Recently, one of Ireland's notorious figures in the gangland scene passed away at the age of 41. Unlike many others of his kind, Cornelius Price's life concluded not in a storm of bullets on February 19, 2023, but rather in a hospital bed in Wales, succumbing to a brain disease after enduring a 16-month-long coma. His demise has led some to believe that the world is now a better place, considering Price's reputation as a barbaric psychopath. However, understanding what earned him this infamous image requires delving into the realms of his reign of terror. Known by the moniker Naley Boy, Price was one of Ireland's most frightening gangland bosses. He forged an alliance with the now-paralyzed drug lord Owen Maguire, and together, their gang, recognized as the Price Maguire Group, emerged as a significant force in the Irish drug trade. They sourced their supplies from other notorious figures, including the elusive Mr. Big. Price, a member of the Romani culture, orchestrated his empire from a gated compound in Gormanston County Meath, running one of Ireland's most prominent regional drug gangs. Positioned as the leader of a rival faction, Price found himself embroiled in the violent drug heat feud with gangland killer Robbie Lawler, a conflict that ignited in 2017. Within the litany of Price's notorious activities, it is believed that he directly participated in at least four murders in Ireland, details of which will be shared later in this video. Garda had Price on their radar for approximately a decade. His presence became notable in 2013 when he brazenly drove a van into a Garda station in Balbriggan, narrowly avoiding colliding with a Garda officer. This audacious act led to his conviction for reckless endangerment of a Garda, resulting in a three-year prison sentence. Nevertheless, Price secured bail in January 2015, albeit with a condition mandating his stay at a residence in Clondalkin. Determined to return to his stronghold in Gormanstown, Price devised a cunning plan. The compound, a veritable fortress, boasted a sole entrance, a narrow road making infiltration exceedingly difficult, particularly for law enforcement. Inside, the compound buzzed with activity, featuring gritty houses, 15 to 20 mobile homes, and heaps of scrap, creating an ideal haven for organized crime. It served as the perfect locale to conceal illegal drugs and weapons without the constant threat of detection. It's understandable why Price sought to return swiftly. With the assistance of an associate, he orchestrated a fake murder attempt while seated in a car outside the Klondelkin residence. Exploiting this staged assassination, Price successfully lobbied for a change in his bail conditions ultimately allowing him to return to the compound where he felt in control among his trusted associates. Little did the authorities know that this decision might have been one of their gravest errors. It was within the confines of his compound that Price began plotting the double murder of a young couple, an act that would later be recognized as one of his most heinous crimes. Further details on this chilling episode will be revealed later in this video. The first murder Cornelius Price was suspected of involved Benny Whitehouse, a drug dealer with a 20,000 euro bounty on his head. Despite being childhood best friends, Price's growing greed and paranoia led to a feud over the distribution of drugs and weapons. It is believed that Price, in a bid for power, ordered one of the gang's contract killers to gun down White House in September 2014. White House met a tragic end after dropping off his two daughters at school. As he returned to the car with his wife and was fastening his seatbelt, a gunman approached and opened fire. White House, a significant figure in the underworld, was killed in a shocking manner, leaving the community in disbelief that someone would dare to eliminate him. This event marked a pivotal moment for Price, catapulting him into a position of dominance in the areas around Luth and Meath. In April 2015, just three months after Price returned to his fortified compound, another disturbing incident unfolded. Willie Mowen, age 34, and his 21-year-old pregnant girlfriend, Anna Varslevane, disappeared. The couple had been residing in one of the caravans on Price's compound. Mon, grappling with a drug problem, likely attracted him to the compound through Price's typical method, luring vulnerable individuals, providing them with drugs, and simultaneously coercing them into criminal activities, such as concealing weapons and narcotics. The disturbing details of this double disappearance will be explored later in this video. Nevertheless, when Anna became pregnant, the couple decided they wanted to escape the hostile environment of Price's compound and build a family outside of it. Willie sought help from his mother, who was en route from the airport to the compound when, abruptly, the couple vanished. 
Their last known sighting and communication occurred on April 14th, disappearing within the span of an hour. The final contact from their phones was at 2.57 p.m., with Anna reaching out to Willie's mother and pleading for help. Since that moment, there has been no trace of them despite extensive searches of the compound. Based on available intelligence, Gardai are convinced that Price's gang killed the couple and disposed of their bodies. A disconcerting detail, possibly coincidental, emerged around the time of the couple's disappearance. A massive fire engulfed the compound. This chilling event fueled the theory that the bodies might have been incinerated in the fire. Ever since, the Moore family has been pleading for information about their missing son and daughter-in-law, contending with the grim possibility that their loved ones may have met a tragic end at the hands of Price's gang. Gardai held the belief that Price was concerned the missing couple possessed crucial information regarding his gang's activities, specifically regarding Willie's knowledge of Price's direct involvement in the White House murder. This suspicion fueled the notion that Price had a motive to eliminate them. In the words of Willie's mother, the reason my son was murdered was he had information on the White House murder, and my son was moving back to Talot. He had information, and Price was too afraid that he was going to release that information. In a significant turn of events in 2018, Price's ally Owen McGuire was targeted in a close-range shooting, allegedly carried out by Robbie Lawler. This incident left McGuire paralyzed and confined to a wheelchair for the remainder of his life. The attack ignited the Droghead feud, escalating tensions further. In a retaliatory move, Lawler's brother-in-law and notorious drug dealer Richard Carberry was fatally shot, an event Price was believed to be involved in. Despite being sworn enemies on opposing sides of the drug eat feud, Price and Lawler shared a penchant for brutal violence. Their clashes over the drug trade in North Dublin culminated in a 2018 attack by Price on Lawler in Cork Prison, leaving Lawler requiring nearly 30 stitches. Lawler himself became the prime suspect in the savage killing of teenager Keen Mulready Woods in January 2020. The 17-year-old was lured to a house linked to one of Lawler's associates where he was tortured and murdered. His dismembered body was later discovered in various locations. The intertwining web of violence and criminality in the Drogheda feud is a grim and complex tale that will be further explored in this video. The narrative unfolds with Lawler suspecting that Keen provided logistical support to Carberry's killers. In a gruesome turn of events, Lawler allegedly ordered the delivery of Keene's head to Price's compound, exploiting Price's supposed fondness for the teenager. However, the criminals tasked with delivering this macabre package grew wary of Garda attention shortly after Keene Mulready Woods' death. In response to the escalating turmoil, Price fled to the UK, leveraging a substantial network of associates within the traveler community. It is believed that Price, nursing a desire for revenge over Keene's murder, orchestrated his retaliation from his new base in the Midlands. Three months after the teenager's demise in April 2020, Robbie Lawler was gunned down in Belfast. Subsequently, a video surfaced, depicting Price celebrating Lawler's death. According to Gardai, Price emerged as a key figure among three criminal gangs orchestrating Lawler's assassination in the Ardwine area. Lawler had been lured there under false pretenses. Following his relocation to the UK, Price attempted to establish himself as a referee for bare-knuckle boxing matches and a mediator in criminal disputes. Unbeknownst to him, this drew the attention of specialized police. Just four months after Lawler's death, detectives were hot on the trail of Price and his associates, including Limerick criminal Jeer Dundon, now going by the name of Darren McLean. When Staffordshire police learned of a £300,000 blackmail and kidnapping scheme against supposed rival criminals, they initiated a surveillance operation on Price's group. The intricate web of criminal activities and law enforcement pursuit will be further explored in this video. Price and Dundon found themselves among the five men arrested in July 2020. While Price faced charges, he was later deemed medically unfit to stand trial after being diagnosed with a brain condition. This ailment progressed to the extent that Price lapsed into a coma in October of the same year. Following a protracted trial that concluded in the early months of 2023, Dundon stood as the sole individual convicted in connection to the criminal scheme. Price's health deteriorated rapidly, culminating in a slow and agonizing demise. Speculations have arisen, including some bizarre theories about the cause of his brain disease. Unsubstantiated claims range from suggestions that unpopular Price was poisoned to speculation that he endured repeated blows to the head with a dumbbell during a jailhouse brawl. That concludes today's video. We're curious to hear your thoughts on today's topic. 
so please share them in the comments section. Additionally, if you found this video insightful, don't forget to show your support by liking it and subscribing to our channel for more engaging content in the future.